Hey, Christina. Hey, I was just about to call you. Uh, do you have a minute? Yeah, just about. <clears throat> What's going on? I just have a question. Um, has Edward told you anything about Ethan and Maya? Like what? What they're like together. Their marriage is strictly about the money, right? Honestly, I have no idea. Why, why are you so interested? Ethan's my friend. I'm just curious what his life's about. Oh. What? I've seen that look before. I know that face. If it's the return of Christina's big crush, it's a bad idea. No offense, but you're in no position to judge. I hope we try something different now and uh, not start on Abby. So you can tell me who I can't date and I can't do the same? Okay, so you are gearing up for Ethan again. That didn't go wrong enough last time. I didn't say that I was into Ethan again. And even if I were, so what? I mean, I don't understand what the big deal is. And don't say it's the age difference because our age difference is less than yours and Abby's. He's married. For now. Hey, you, uh, you free tonight? I am. What do you have in mind? Well, uh, if the offer's still on the table, I, I'd come to your apartment. Really? Or not, or not, it's... Uh, no, no, I, I want you to. I, I just, we had reservations, so I just want you to be sure. I, uh, I was stupid for turning you down before. I, I overthink things. I start with the worst case scenario, then work my way back. It's a well, problem I have. Okay, great. Yeah? yeah I'm excited. Should I make some dinner? You cook? Uh, only if it's basic. But, I mean, I can make good pasta. Well, I love pasta. Okay. Do you want me to get you anything from the store? Or? I'm good. Just bring yourself uh, and an appetite. Okay. And I'm at um, 827 Emerson, apartment 3C. It's uh, not far from Baker Street. All right, don't worry, I'll find it. Okay. So, I don't know, maybe I'll see you in like a half an hour? I'll see you in half an hour. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. -bye. Okay, bye. Still mad at me? Depends. I'm sorry I went off like that. I hate it when we fight. Well, I'm not fighting. I just... I wish you'd make up your mind in advance about Abby. But why don't you try to get to know her? Maybe you'd shock yourself and actually like her. I doubt it. <laughs> okay, whatever. No, I just... I hope you understand that I'm only being protective because I love you. You're not just my irritating older brother. You're my best friend. I worry about you. Oh, I'm fine. And I love you too. I just wish you could see that my instincts might be right. I mean, what do you even see in this woman? I'm sorry, is this your idea of an apology? I know, I'm I'm sorry. It, it just drives me crazy that you can't see what a huge mistake just, you're just making. Just stop it, Christina, this is pointless. Look, I care about Abby, and I'm going to see her as long as she's willing to see me. And nothing you say, no instinct you have, is going to change that. I don't get it. It's like you want to be an outcast. You storm through the halls at school with this look on your face like you're daring anybody to speak to you, and then you run over here to spend time with a stripper who may or may not be a prostitute, depending on if you're blind or not. You know, I'm not going to do this. You don't like Abby? Fine, you don't have to. Interrupt, but I have to talk to you about Michael. It's serious. Is Michael in some kind of trouble? More than he knows. What's going on? Michael's with Abby. Is that all? All? She's a stripper who's miles too old. Okay, I know. I used to have a problem with Abby too. And you don't anymore? Well, honey, Michael needs to make his own decisions in life, and. I think his friendship with Abby has been really good for him. They're not just friends. Well, what are you talking about? Well, I heard that Mike Kelly is planning a dinner at her apartment. And we all know what that means. Michael is going to have sex with Abby tonight. 